Hello friends. In the previous video of transplanting adeniums bonsai style, I was showing plants like this that had no trunk to speak of, where during transplanting the plant was lifted, exposing the chubby root, which would become green through photosynthesis become and become trunk. In this video, I'm going to show you a plant that naturally grew a nice swollen trunk above the ground and needs transplanting badly. badly. It already cracked the pot. Now, there is more than one way to go about plant like this. One is to plant it into bigger and bigger pot, especially if uh, you are a family that is in construction that operates heavy equipment, gradually you can get very big plants. Another way is to prune the roots, which is the subject of this video, how to transplant a denium while prune, pruning the roots. Luckily for adenium, for, luckily for us, the adenium is one of those plants that when the cut is dried, even very thick roots, when cut, would sprout thinner feeding roots from that cut, provided that it's done during the warm part of the year. So, let's get us started. I knew that I want to do this a week or 10 days ago, so I stopped watering so the root wouldn't be way too juicy. And that's why many leaves are already starting to yellow. So, step number one to get this plant out and get the soil off Now I'm going to wash the roots to see what I really have here. Okay, I'm back. Now we can see much clearer what we're working with. try to make as clean cut as I can. This might look very scary, but uh, I'm not the first one who does it and this is not the first time I'm doing it. As I say, as I said, as long as it's growing part of the year and, uh, and this wound is well dried, it will sprout the roots here, 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 like that. So now, we have a plant that uh, the old way to do it, people are doing it in sub Southeast Asia often, 
is that you keep this plant in a shade for a couple of weeks or even month for this part to heal then plant it but my Australian email friend Harrell uh, advised me and I tried it it works very well uh, to use a hair dryer to dry it so that's what I'm gonna do right now This is gonna take several minutes, like 10 or 15, so I'm gonna cut and come back when it's dry. Okay, about 15 minutes passed and this section is dry untouched. So I can plant it now. Unfortunately, Adenium is not one of the plants which can sprout shoots out of roots. So this would go to compost and feed another generation of plants. And this one would sprout roots all around and be able to fit into a bonsai pot. While the dryer was drying the wound, I sifted the cinder because I wanted to start its growth in a sterile environment. I sifted the dust away. If I would want the roots to be few and thick, I would use cinder with big particles because this time I prefer larger number of smaller roots. I used cinder with a smaller particles. And the transplanting is done. A week or so from now, this plant would get first watering. Goodbye friends. And if you like this video, if you didn't subscribe yet, maybe you can. And you're gonna get announcement about my future videos. Until then, Goodbye.